So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to build a stereolithography apparatus, the SLA. Uh, this SLA is based on a slightly different concept than the regular SLAs available in the market. Uh, the regular SLAs use a laser pointer and the laser pointer points on the light sensitive resin and it forms the layer uh, slowly. So here we are instead of using a laser pointer, we are trying to use an ordinary DLP projector. This is a DLP projector by Dell. Um, and we are trying to basically project different kind of shapes layer by layer to build them. This resin, this white color resin over here is a light sensitive resin. When it is projected to blue colored light, it solidifies. So with the color, current light intensity with this projector, we can solidify a 0 0.016 inches layer in about four, four and a half minutes. So uh, now this this design has uh, it, its own unique features like this is a bottom feed design instead of a conventional top feed design. Um, the advantages of this are that we do not need a feeding mechanism of the resin. The resin gets fed due to the gravity itself. Then there is hardly any air inclusion so we get a clean part formed. Then we have this uh, interface that we built in C++ to control this whole system. Uh, we take a part and we divide it into different, uh, we cut it into different sections and we project them uh, at, a, at, a, at a timely basis to this projector. Then this, this, this program also controls these stepper motors. These stepper motors are connected to a platform. Now this platform is at the base of the of this uh, container containing the resin, and it is uh, in its its height is maintained very accurately. It it can be controlled to an accuracy of 0 0.002125 inches. So it is really accurate system. You can make really thin layers with this. So we have built this system, and we have come up with some preliminary results right now that we can show you. Uh, these are some of the results. These are some of the first few results that we came up with. Uh, now, this was one of a uh, good result that we received. We can clearly see that the layers are formed separately. Uh, the edge accuracy is not that good, uh, but we are uh, we we have made pro uh, parts that are very accurate. Uh, this was just a, a testing part that we made. Um, as you can see, this part. Now this part has extremely good accuracy. The shape you see is the actual shape, uh, the curves, the slight curves that are the actual shape that we wanted to build and we got a pretty nice accuracy in this part. So uh, this, this machine is still under research phase. We are still developing it and in the near future we hope to come up with some really good results with this machine.